Hey there everyone. I wanted to give you a quick update on everything outdoors with Les Johnson and I want to say thank you to all my patrons. I haven't been around a lot on video, just a lot going on in my life and I'll bring you all up to date on that stuff here in the near future. But uh, I always get myself into trouble, I think anyway. It sure seems like it. I mean well and things just happen. I'm telling you. So I have, I, I'm a redneck deer blind dealer, and I have two locations that I sell redneck deer blinds out of, Hastings, Nebraska, and Superior, Nebraska. They're about 60 miles apart, and a, a friend down in Superior puts them on his lot. I give him a commission for selling them. He knows a lot of people. It gives him an opportunity to make a little extra money. He enjoys hunting, so I've got two locations. Well, in all my travels, I put deer blinds in different places as well. So I had this deer blind down here in Kansas, and I wanted to go get it today. It's a, it's a nice, cool summer morning, and I wanted to go get that blind. So I drive all the way down here. I leave Hastings at 7.30 this morning. It's nice and cool. I get down here. I'm 15, 20 miles from a town. I go in, I start pushing this blind around, and I'm going to start trying to put it on the trailer that I have behind my pickup. And as soon as I'm, I'm pushing it, and I'm wiggling it around, and they're kind of hard to move, so I go from one corner to the other corner, and I'm pushing hard, and I come back, and all of a sudden, this whole wad of wasps fall right in front of me. And they could be hornets. I don't know what they are. They fall right in front of my face. Like if I would not have had my hat bill, they would have fell right on my head. Cause I'm, I'm clear up, up underneath that blind, pushing it, trying to push it. And instantly one stung me on the arm and I take off running. I'm swatting and I'm doing all this. I get out to my pickup and one stung me on the hip. And I'm like, I hate them. I hate them. So I drive to town 20 miles. I go get some hornet spray, wasp and hornet spray at Dollar General, okay? I come back out here and I'm like anal. I'm paranoid because I can't stand them. I'm usually kind of allergic to them. They still hurt like crazy right now and it's been over an hour. And uh, so I come sneaking in here and I, I sneak up to the blind. I have the wasp and hornet spray. And I shake it and I test it and I it shot 15, 20 feet out into the field. And I see three of them on the edge of my deer blind and I sneak up to them. I go to spray and I'm about five feet from them and I'm, they're all three in a little clump there and I'm gonna drill all three of them. I go to spray and it just goes zoop, and it, it don't even come close to them. And I mean, this one turns and looks at me and he comes off of that blind coming right at me. I turned to run and I ran right into a tree branch. I mean, I hit that thing. It was right at head level. I smacked that thing so hard and I've cleaned up the blood, but I mean, I drilled <laughs> that tree branch. I go to my, my knees and I mean, I'm seeing stars and I'm just spraying like this, shaking, spraying. I'm like, I don't want to get stung again. And that thing was right on me. And I jump up and I'm seeing stars and I try to wobble back to the pickup. I get back to the pickup and I saw it buzz right back to the blind. And I get in the pickup and I'm like, are you kidding me? I had a chance to get three of them, never got any of them. And now I don't know where they're at. So... Then I sneak back out there and I see the nest and I, I make sure I got good pressure and I spray it a little bit and I see, I see one, one right on the nest, you know, and I spray them suckers and then I get further out around and I spray, but, um, the life and styles of Les Johnson is never boring. I'm telling you. Um, I'm after predators and they're after me. I swear they gotta be, but look at that. I mean, I've got some bruising going on. I mean, I, my head hurts so bad right now and I've got some, I've got some 
clear liquid oozing out. I probably need stitches. I don't know. So this isn't a scope rash. This is a tree branch rash. That thing was perfect head height and it was about that big around. So I mean, I drilled that thing as fast as I could take three steps. I hit that thing hard. So, okay, I'm going to show you what happened here. I'm leaving the door on my pickup open in case they attack me again. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the spray real quick. These stinking things. I hate them. This is what I'm using right here. Wasp and hornet killer. And the secret is you gotta have it shake. You've gotta shake it up big time. Okay, there's the deer blind. So I snuck right through here like this. And I'm constantly looking on the ground for them suckers too. You just don't know where they're at. Might, might be some in the hole. But they're right. I feel these weeds hit my legs and I get crazy. I don't see nothing moving on the nest. Yeah, right there's the nest under there. I don't trust them. There's still one there. Just making sure. There's what they look like. Killed them. Thank goodness. And I sprayed this whole side too. I don't see any crawling around. What I did was, there was three of them just right here. Just right there. And I was back here and I went to spray and I'm spraying and it just went whoop, and it hit right there. So they were up here, it hit there, and one of them turned and looked at me, come after me, I turned to run, and I just took about three big steps, and this branch right here, kawam, right on my forehead. It's perfect height, and it got me. So that there, folks, is what happened. I think they're all out of there. I may try to load it now. I don't know. I'm hurting. I've got two two uh, stings on me. So anyway, don't try this at home. I just thought you'd all like an update on all this. Uh, anyway, it's not always about hunting coyotes. It's uh, it's some other stuff as well. So I hope all of you are having a nice weekend. Get out there and enjoy the weather. And um, Try not to do what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> Have a good day. We'll talk to you later.